Now what you're seeing is that I've pulled the composition into Photoshop. And what I did was I opened up the idea file in, in Illustrator on the desktop, then I copied over individual layers into Photoshop, and in Photoshop I went ahead and uh, added some effects, changed some colors. Uh, it, if you notice, I even made a duplicate copy of the elephants. So now we have more elephants on the screen. I've made some changes, and now let's say I want to share this with stakeholders who might be wanting to approve this before I commit the work. So I save it. It automatically gets uploaded to Creative Cloud. So let me actually jump back to my Creative Cloud folder here, the Elephants folder. You can see I've got the idea file. I've got the Illustrator file. So when I opened it up in Illustrator, and then I just saved it as an Illustrator file. And then from Illustrator, I brought some of the layers into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you, I made a bunch of changes of uh, colors and, and uh, some, some effects. If you actually compare the, the two side by side, you can see the differences in color. Um, and the cropping and the dupl duplicate elephants. So let me go ahead and open up the elephants file. And when we're looking at it here, you can see information about it, uh, when it was uploaded, when it was last modified, the size of it, what, what's the primary color palette. But what's also interesting about this is if I want to share it, let's say I, I want to make it public, I can do that. I could allow anyone to comment on it, I can allow anyone to download it. And I can share it either by email address or just by a URL. So once I have this URL, I could then send it out on Instant Messenger, I could send it out on Twitter if I wanted to, I could uh, you know, put that in an email, set, basically share it however I want. Now, when you're sharing it, not only can people view it, but they could also go ahead and leave comments. So in this case, I'm typing in a comment and you know I could say, this is awesome, of course, but you know, uh, knowing my own artistic ability, I don't think anyone would be posting that's awesome. If you have a workflow process, anyone can come in, whether they're stakeholders, managers, customers, they could come in and leave a comment, say, oh, I like this, I like that, uh, could you change this, could you change that? And they can, they can do that. And it really streamlines the process for collaborating and getting feedback on the compositions that you're putting together. Now, what's also really cool about this is I can go ahead and for a PSD file in Creative Cloud, view the individual layers. So if I want to highlight certain areas or emphasize certain things where I want to compare uh, the differences between layers, I can go ahead and just toggle them, show and hide them. So you can see there, I got rid of the background elephants. Here, I got rid of the foreground elephants. Let's say I want to get rid of the mountain color. Or if I only want to focus on the elephants, I can do that. And this is all through the web interface. So basically anywhere that you can consume HTML, you, you can interact with your content, you can preview it, you can leave comments, you can collaborate. So I'm showing it in the desktop browser here, but let me also pull over the iOS simulator, and I'm viewing the exact same file uh, on Creative Cloud through the mobile Safari browser, and you can see it's a mobile formatted experience that can be consumed on the mobile device. So I can see the comments, I can see the file info, again, I can see the layers, and if I wanted to toggle those layers on the mobile phone, I can do that.